Funeral rites. I shouldered a kind of manhood, stepping in to lift the coffins of dead relations. They'd been laid out in tainted rooms, their eyelids glistening, their dull white hands shackled in rosary beads. Their puffed knuckles had unwrinkled, the nails were darkened, the wrists obediently sloped. But whenever horror and tragedy comes into your life, you kind of hug on to that ceremony to, to you, you don't really know what to do. And if it wasn't for those things, me and a lot of our family and a lot of families in Northern Ireland wouldn't have got through what we got through. And then to move on to the, the last part of the poem, for me that's, in the current context for me, it, it's just, it's so powerful and, and, and heartbreaking and only a man from the country can talk about the cud of memory. You know, and the cow standing over the ditch, over the gatepost, chewing its cud. And what does memory do to us in Ireland? You know, there's always that thing that English people should learn more Irish history and Irish people should forget more Irish history. <laughs> and that might be a good thing. And the idea that we can maybe put stuff aside and maybe get back to a normal ceremony in the current climate that we're in, I think it's very, very important that there are certain people that are trying to put a border back in Ireland. And those people are also thinking about putting a border between Ireland and Britain, as if that's going to be any better, as if, you know, people who, on each side, those extremists, they're going to come back out. And we don't need the country to be humming to the sound of 10,000 cars anymore. And, and, and that poem for me says everything about growing up, about loss, and about hope. Thank you. Thank you.